Okay, my osis. Here it is. So um, let's do it. Let's make dreams come true. Let's talk about why you, why we all don't look the same and like why we, you, don't, you don't like one of those like creepy families that look all that, that like, you know, those like, um, uh, like inbred families that all look the same. Why do we look so different? Here we go. So what is meiosis? Hopefully this is a review for you. So it's a form of cell division where you got your gametes. Gametes, sperm and egg, right? So you've got your sperm and egg cell and they have half the number of chromosomes. So for humans, that's 23. I'm gonna abbreviate chromosomes like this, okay? So diploid is gonna be 46 chromosomes. Haploid is 23 chromosomes, okay? And this is sexual reproduction. This is where variation comes from. This is why we look different. We are different from our siblings and from other people in our family and other people in our community, okay? Now, because you're getting down to haploid numbers, you've got two divisions, okay? So the cells divide twice. Now, this only happens in sperm and egg cells, okay? Mitosis happens everywhere else, right? Mitosis is happening when we grew our onions in the liquid. That's what's causing those to, our, our bodies to grow, to repair, those types of things. Sperm and eggs is all about making more babies, making babies, babies having babies. So you've got, so you've got your um, egg cells, which are 23, your sperm cells. I'll give, them a, I'll give them a tail and a smiley face. Ooh, that looks horrifying. Hey. They have 23, and then they make a zygote, which is 46, Okay, and that zygote then splits and divides and divides and divides and especially, or and essentially comes up with a new person. So let's talk about the stages really briefly. Interphase one, okay, it's very similar to mitosis. You've got your chromosomes replicating. This happens only once. Interphase happens once, and it happens before meiosis, okay? It happens right before meiosis starts. Okay, so you've got your chromosome and you've got your chromatids and you're attached at the centromere. You're looking like this. Yay, chromosomes. Then you have meiosis one, PMAT one. Okay, so prophase one, interphase one, anaphase, telophase. Okay, so the cell division reduces the numbers by one half. Okay, that's where, that's where, like, because again, you're going from diploid to haploid. You're going from 46 to 23. This has to happen by splitting twice. Okay, so this is the money. Prophase one, money, dollar signs, dollar signs, dollar signs, okay? Longest and most complicated phase. 90% of a cell's time in meiosis is spent in prophase one. So prophase one is, for the most part, the most complex and in many places the most important because you have um, this business, right? So you have... Four chromosomes, or I'm sorry, two chromosomes coming together, okay? So this would be like the one from your mom, and this would be like the one from your dad, okay? This is a tetrad. Tetrad. So you've got four chromatids. One, two, three, four. Okay, why is this important? Oh, I will tell you this is important. Okay, so my stupid thing didn't, so my stupid drawing didn't work. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, so here's, see like this is the chromosome from your dad. Okay, and this is the chromosome from your mom. Boom, boom. And then you've got your tetrad, which is what I just drew. Amazing. Now this happens only in, in, pro, in um, meiosis. This doesn't happen in um, mitosis because mitosis is all about dividing, making more of the same. Meiosis is about making things that are different to go on to make different people. Genetic variation is key. If we all looked alike and if we all had the same DNA, we would look like those like um, like those in, inbred people in horror movies, you know, that like, oof, something not quite right. Um, so, you know what I mean? Like they have like whatever, like big teeth and like greasy skin. I don't know, whatever. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? You, you're looking, you don't want to be inbred because then you have an increase of genetic problems. Golden retrievers, for example, right? We all know how I feel about golden retrievers. Super cute, but my father has had golden retrievers. My parents have had golden retrievers my whole life and I hate them because they're dumb and they're inbred and they have like hip problems and teeth problems. They're just a mess of a dog. Um, also, my parents don't train them and that's, anyway, that's my journey. 
Okay, homologous chromosomes, right? Like we said, you get a, one from your mom, one from your dad. They form these tetrads, this foursome. So we have 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes, right? Pairs. So we've got 46 total. You've got 22 pairs of autosomes and then one pair of sex chromosomes. I'm not sure if you can hear the dance music behind me. That is coming from another classroom. Okay, so the sex chromosomes are going to be either XX or XY, right? If you're a girl, you get this. If you're a dude, you get that. Can you guys hear that? Anyway, okay, so here we go. So say this is... Say this is going to be your um, homologous chromosomes. Now, here's the thing, though. They code for the same stuff. So I am just going to draw this. So this is from your... Actually, let's do this. Let's, um, let's keep your maternal as blue. Right? So there we go. So they, this is the part that codes for hair color. And then for, for, so the, the, and that's your dad. So every, you have the same genes. You have the same copies of your genes. The origin is different. Okay, that's what homologous chromosomes. So here we go. Here's your set of, of homologous chromosomes. Those are all somatic. This is your, this is your sex chromosome. These determine if you're um, if you've got girl parts or boy parts. Okay. Here's why this is important: crossing over. So crossing over happens when they're in that tetrad. The chromatids touch, and DNA is moved. DNA sequences are moved. Okay. They break and they reattach. This is where genetic variation comes from. This is why we do not look identical to our siblings, unless of course. You can hear that, right, guys? The dance music? I'm sorry. Slash not. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Okay, so here is the variation business. Um, I don't know why my awesome drawing didn't happen. So here's our tetrad. Okay. Um, I'm just going to... I have no idea what this is about. So there's our tetrad, right? Let's talk about crossing over, right? So you've got boom... Boom, boom, boom. And this is where the crossing over happens. This is where DNA is switched. And that's why this is so important. This is why, this is what happened. So after prophase one, now that happens in prophase one, the rest is just usual. Now, keep in mind, this is 90% of meiosis is that. 10% is the rest of this. So they line up, they split, boom, cytokinesis. They come back up here, and they split again. So you're getting um, four genetically different cells. They're genetically different because of this, of crossing over. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Please bring questions tomorrow. We will go over this. Take notes on the note sheet I gave you. Um, yes. And um, any questions or comments regarding my feelings about golden retrievers, either you agree with me or you don't disagree with me, um, you know, uh, feel free to bring those as well. But deep down, you guys know I'm right. Deuces.